Kimmy the Gadget Guys, and today I have for you matte screen protector installation on the Xiaomi Mix Flip. I've been rocking this with a case, of course, except when I'm, you know, chilling in the bed or something, because I don't want to mess up the phone. And I have another case coming to show off all the beautiful back on this phone, but it hadn't gotten here yet. So I do have a couple of uh, first impressions and whatnot that I'll talk about while I'm doing this installation. Y'all see my beautiful home screen there. And um, there's my home screen here. I just like having two screens. I got the set because it, I wanted only the, the front and the inside. I'm not putting anything on the back of this phone, of course. This is the nylon fiber back, so these won't really do me any justice if you happen to have this phone and want some matte backs. I just hit me up in the comments. You can have those. But in the set, I bought three that give you plenty of wet wipes, wet dry wipes, uh, plenty of stickers, two squeegees, plenty of dust removers, and plenty of wipes. Let's get into this. Let's get this installed and let's see what it looks like. Now that I've put all the goodies away, we got just the phone, which needs a good wipe down. And um, so I'm going to use their wipes. Sometimes their wipes are dry by the time they get to me because they come from overseas. I sweat, so we're good. And we're just going to do the front first. I do not believe there is a protector already on here. Otherwise, I'd remove it because front protectors are just regular protectors typically. But I am not seeing one. Uh, I don't have anything on my calendar. I don't have anything now playing. And there's my clock. I was thinking, yeah, you haven't seen my screen since I set it up. So that's what it looks like. I will say, since I've started using this phone, I like to treat this outer screen like it's a full phone. So I constantly swipe up to get to my apps to break myself of that. Hey, there's me. But yeah, I constantly swipe up to get my apps and you can't do that. So it'll just look at me like, what do you want? <laughs> All right, I think that's wiped off pretty good. I can't tell from behind the camera, so I'm gonna give it one more look over before we go. I had to give it another wipe down because you had debris around the camera lens. You want your screen to be as clean as possible and you don't want any debris around it. You gotta use the dust remover. Even though our screen protectors have one built in on top. And uh, yeah, this is just to get all the residual off the phone. You want any kind of dust to get up under your screen protector. One of the things I like most about this design is the roundness on all the ends. I, I do like rounded off phones. They feel better in the hand to me. No shade to Samsung. I know they went back to a square design. But I remember my two, my Fold 2 used to go into my hands pretty good after I would play games and whatnot. So round it just seems to work better for me. I know that's not everybody's preference, but yeah, just me. And this is the front. There's usually a one, two, and a three. I only see a one on this one and maybe a three. I don't know. There's not any numbers. So we're going to go for, you know, what we're used to. Please peel off the mask with the sticker. And then there's a sticky part over here too. All right, we got three. So if we mess them up, we mess them up. I was thinking the other side, but this says one. So I'm going to go with one. I'm going to have this situated upside down. Um, yeah. So I guess it wants you to do it maybe in layers. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. This is... At first for me, it came with no instructions, so we'll, you know, wing it like we normally do. Hmm. Give me a minute. Maybe all this is supposed to come off? Okay, so that's directly connected to the other piece. I don't know, y'all. I'm figuring this out with y'all. Although I will include links in the description if you want to figure this out with me. Use the cameras to be my guide. this way yeah see that's like a whole different section i don't know y'all i don't know if i'm gonna like these might end up ordering some more 
I don't think the other piece was supposed to go first. Even though it was somewhere. But I had to have Matt, and these are the first person people to actually sell something, so. It's just weird. So I can definitely tell you we're gonna have bubbles on these just because of how backwards the installation was. So I can see bubbles in here already. And the camera situation. These go around. Most of the um, cases I've seen so far leave the camera compartment wide open. I guess you don't want to. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, we'll give it a day or two. Rounded off edges. Make sure those are sealed. We might come out okay after a day or so. But as of right now, I'm not enthused. <laughs> this is definitely not the set for amateurs, okay? So as you can see, it doesn't look bad when the screen's on. When the screen's off, I got some lines, some bubbles. Um, 24, 48 hours usually gets rid of your bubbles. And what I will say is, um, about more than one set, <laughs> like I did. I think I'm able to, uh, I'll be able to work with this. But like I said, if you're not really, this isn't your area, it's gonna be rough. So, a couple bubbles around the camera that I don't like to. All right, that's the front. And what I normally do, is I normally just stick the, camera, uh, the case right over the top of it. One thing I like about this case, and I didn't notice when I did the unboxing, and yeah, I just cut the ends because I didn't want to commit to the case. There's an edge protector that goes around the camera. I thought that was pretty neat. It's not raised on the other side, just on the camera side. Just sharing my thoughts as we go through with this um, installation. So yeah, case is on now. That should hold it in place and for that first 24 or 48 hours. Let's clean up the inside of this bad boy. Dropped my thing. All right, let's go. So yes, this is covered in fingerprints. I've been using this front screen and side screen. Um, being that my visible sim is the sim that I use, I'm forwarding my calls to this phone. So I can make sure I know what call quality looks like and all that good stuff. Turn the screen off, man. I told you I do better with the screen off. And FYI, you don't hear any wobbling because there is none because of how the case is made. So it, it's not flat on the table, but it's not wobbling either. Kudos to Xiaomi. I think one more wipe down will do it. There's your crease, people. People like to talk about creases on folding phones. I don't know why. It's inevitable with a folding phone. It's going to have a crease. Now, how deep it is, that's a whole nother story. But there, I don't see this one as being like a valley or anything decent crease but it's not oppo crease now oppo they've kind of mastered the crease all right it's nice and clean it doesn't look like i've been licking on it or anything so we're good to go all right we got that same crazy piece in the middle and i think i figured it out y'all <laughs> we'll see but i think i have that piece comes off first and you kind of just tweak the other sides let's see Use my camera as my guide here. Get this thing laid kind of flat. Usually they give you some grace with these. All right. I just don't know why they did the additional. Like they're three pieces. Why are there three pieces? All right. <laughs> you can tell I'm kind of slightly frustrated. All right. Maybe I should go to the bottom first. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do the bottom first, y'all. Just so much more convenient. <laughs> Look at how that laid. That was nice. 
So the bottom's done. Yay. Let's see how this works with the top. Here we go, such a big piece though. It's not very user friendly. That's off centered. Boo! Not a go, y'all. We're going to, have to try another piece. Because it landed off centered, and I'm a perfectionist, and this is not going to work. See how it's all the way over to the side? There's a big gap over there. So. Well, we got three, y'all. Uh, failure. Well, I'm going to remove this one. Because it's off the side, so it's easier to remove it from the top. Alright, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say we need to have the placement as close to perfect as we can. For this uh, middle alignment thing. Oh, no, it's a pain, it's a pain. All right, yeah. All right, so the thing about it, this is we have so far to go with uh, so much plastic. So to try to get this lined up straight, Everything looking straight. I feel like I'm spot checking it this time. Looks much better this time, y'all. Yay! Small victories. Inside was much harder than the outside, can I say? Hold on. What is going on here? You're supposed to stay down. Whew! Well, I sound stressed. I'm slightly stressed. Oh, the screen protector installation had me stressed out. So here we have a couple bubbles. Bam, bam, and bam. So for the most part, I'm not as worried about this screen as I am the other. Because I have far less bubbles and those will work themselves out. They're closer to the edges. And yeah, that is the inside protector now with the matte finish. Yeah, sir. Me. Look at it. Screen protector. Oh, case is pulling up my screen protector, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> if you dare to want to try these, I will leave links in the description for the matte screen protectors. Um, once you saw me screw it up, you might be better at installing it than I was. But I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my screen protector installation on the Xiaomi Mix Flip. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video you might want to hit the like button if you've enjoyed multiple videos on this channel consider subscribing support for free memberships cost and memberships have privileges if you'd like to see what those privileges are please click on the join button i'd like to thank you for your time because time is money and i hope to catch you on a future video on this channel